Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. Um, you guys can see here. Let me open the map. Of course, that doesn't do you much good. But anyways, I have sown canola in every single field of ours in hopes of a big harvest. So we can get a ton of canola here. Let me just show you the crop map. Settings, vehicle selection, boom. It is all, they are all on their last stage of growth. If you look at the fruit types, they are all canola. So we have canola growing in every single one of our three fields, even though it's really one, two, three, four, five, six fields. So we are working great. This, sh this should go by pretty darn fast because I've been waiting for a while and it, it's been on this stage for a decent amount of time. Um, new mods. Let's see what mods I got that are new. I don't believe there was any. However, it's been quite a while because I've been working on trying to get Euro Truck Simulator 2 to work and it's just been a pain and it'll oh, just yuck. I really wish they just released the Mac version already. I really do. Speaking of the Euro Truck Simulator 2 Let's Play, um, the game decided to freak out and lose all of the stuff that I had, or all the saves, so, uh, we will not be playing that anymore, because that's just way too unstable, and just not worth it. Uh, ooh, this is new, this is a, uh, hitch for the back of the Crone Big X, so you can hold a trailer behind it. Uh, that's new, let's see what else besides that, that looks like it. Correct Mundo, that's it. Great demand at the inn for canola. Holy cow, we are good at detecting when these will show up. Because we have canola growing here. We have canola in our, uh, what do you call it? In our uh, silos, that's what they're called. And you can see I got the whole crew lined up here. Then ready to plant corn. So we should be making a ton of money yet again. See, waiting it out really, really helps because now with this great demand for canola, we'll have everything ready to harvest of canola. We have all the canola in our silos, which, in case you guys are wondering, is 82,000 canola. The great demand is at the inn, which they already just happen to pay the most at, for 44,164. Holy cow! We are going to be rich. I am not going to buy anything with this money until we sell it all. It all must be gone. We need our bank account to hit that million dollars. The minute we do, we'll go ahead and just buy some more cows and all of our cow stuff, whatever the heck you want to call it, will all be like fully upgraded and just ready to go. We'll have uh, the mixers all there. We can start. Uh, we can start doing whatever the heck you guys want. Of course, I'm speaking way too early. I have no idea how much we're gonna get. But let's see. Just from this load alone of fifty-eight thousand, we're probably going to get. Oh, I don't know. Fifty-eight thousand times four, about two hundred thousand dollars. About a little bit more. So let's go ahead and see how much we have left. We still have twenty-four thousand left in storage. Ooh, that was a little weird. But we have every single field of ours planted with canola. That's what's amazing. Oop. Back up. Come on. Come on, truck. You got it. There we go. It wasn't backing up there for a sec. So, I mean, with every single field and already we'll have, you know, this 200,000 from the 58. And then, let's see, from 24,000 times 4, 20, 40, 50, 60. 20, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, about, oh, right around another 100,000. So about $300,000 from what we had in our silos already. And then we, just every single field of ours that's growing canola. And the 84,000 only came from Mega Field, the first one, and then Field 17. And now we have our new massive field on top of that. We're looking at nearly a million dollars just in our new harvest, not including this extra 300,000. 
I'm expecting a good 1.3 million dollar harvest. It's quite a bit of math for one episode, but it was worth it. Alright, so let's... Alright, so it's not grown yet. Let's... There we go. Alright, starting to dump, deny. Alright, so you can see our bank account is already up to 50,000. I mean, that's to be expected. That's really isn't 56,000 so nearly 60 but that really isn't much whenever you're considering how much we're gonna get at least from this back trailer here I just realized I kinda clipped the top but you know that's alright alright so we're nearly at a hundred thousand so I guess two hundred thousand was a little bit of a high estimate but oh my goodness no 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 you no two hundred thousand is a correct estimate we're selling it not at the end Oh my goodness, gosh darn it! Oh, that makes me mad. No. I will be right back. Don't you guys move. Alrighty, welcome back. You can see we are now back at our 21,000 mark. Uh, before the mistake was made to go ahead and sell the canola not at the end where they're offering such amazing prices because so I was like a hundred and nine thousand just couldn't be right and I was right it wasn't because we were not at the end this time we will be and this time we're prepared to receive that great demand call so we'll go ahead and just fill up our truck here early and we'll go to the end early and then whenever the great demand comes in we'll just be ready to start unloading and we'll be back you know when the fields all ready to go and so this was like a part two of part one of this episode I, I, I don't know what it is but we just completely restarted this whole episode which is really nice but it really stunk because of the mistake I made and if you're wondering how exactly I got back to this point it was because I hadn't uh, saved whenever we unfilled or after we unfilled so by uh, just exiting the game and not saving I was able to go back to my previous save which was the start of this episode so oh yes there we are so let's slow down time there we go alright so now we have plenty of time to get this done plant growth should be on fast and I believe it is We'll check as soon as we get to the inn and sell this, or start selling it. While it's selling, we'll go ahead and check. The inn is this way, so I'm going to make sure I drive this way. There we go. Weave through these buildings. All right, now for the great demand price of 4165 is what I believe it. Whoa, past it. 4148 That was close. Now we should end up with about $200,000 on top of our already $21,000 like I said before but you know what we're almost there so we'll just see whether or not my prediction is indeed correct which I hope it is I just realized next to the wheat and barley you know whatever the crops are our grains there's a money symbol and a T what does that T stand for money per time maybe I don't know alright so here we go at the end let's double check Yes, this is the end. Let's get rid of this. Don't need that. And boom, let's start unloading. There we go. Alrighty, we're already up to $50,000, and it's been like three seconds, so that's great. Boom, we're past that 60000 mark where we were at right as we were starting to unload the second trailer, so. Yep, we're almost at 100000 Heck yes. This is the place to be. We are in the correct place. We're at 96000 and we will soon be over 200,000 with the dump of this trailer. With the lift of his hydraulics. Uh, that's kind of weird. Oh, wait, I just, hydraulics? Dreadlocks? Oh, I get it. People with dreadlocks like hydraulics. That's why they buy the cars. All right. Well, anyways. <laughs> just, oh, jeez. Excuse me. Anyways, you can see we have 262,271 just from our first trip alone. We have no debt to pay off. This is all just money in the bank. I mean, this is really what's really nice about farming. 
So make sure you guys leave in the comments what you guys want to do with this amazing, what this amazing great demand has given us. I mean, the first few episodes have really paid off the fact that we've saved so much of it, and it's really been kind of boring. I mean, we've upgraded our combine a ton, but I mean, besides that, we really haven't upgraded our machinery that much. And but with this great demand, holy cow, we will just really just get the high class stuff, or or we can. Uh, stretch and hopefully reach the uh, some new battling grounds that we haven't hit yet I mean we've done sheep we are working on cows we can depending upon how much money we have we can buy a windmill and just have a constant source of income oh come on trailer and have a constant source of income I believe it's about five thousand dollars oh back up I think it's about five thousand dollars an hour I think I don't know, but that 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 could pay for itself. It would take a while, but overall, and wait, now that I think about it, it really won't at the golf course. Deny. I'm gonna have to deny that one just because we're kind of busy right now between harvesting, which we'll be starting very soon, and the selling of our canola. That I'm really, I I, I don't care what time it is. We are going to get all of this canola sold. Oh, there we are. There are no more in our silos. So let's just double check that. Yes. All right. We're carrying 29 eggs. Doing pretty good. We might stop there on the way back. All right. Off to the end again. Now let's see. 24,000 times four is about a no. Whoa. Hey, man. That is not cool. And you continue on without giving me your insurance information so I can stalk you? Who do you think you are? My goodness, lowest fares anywhere, Trailways bus with the chrome under part thing. My goodness. Alright, uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna touch you. Oh, that should teach you. Good luck driving straight ever again. Woo! Yeah, that's right, tail whip. That was meant for you! Alright, well, we're off to the end again with a little bit of crop, not much. Holy cow. There's our there's a ton of buses. No, a ton of buses, a ton of buses, a ton of buses. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and all right, we're almost to the end. I'm not gonna I'm not going to sing that song. Oh my goodness. I I got my fair share of that back when I was uh, I don't know. Just born, somewhere around then. Alright, so let's see how much money we'll get from this. My <coughs> excuse me. My estimate is right around 70,000 for all of this. So let's see where we end up. Another 70,000. So we were at 261. And we will be over 300,000. That's for sure. Boom. Over 300,000. And we haven't even started harvesting all of our canola. Oh, that's amazing. So we've gained over. So let's see. from We were at 61. And we're at 37 now. I'll calculate on the way back. Let's see what we get first. All right, so we're at 360. Ooh, ooh, nope, nope, nope. So four plus six. Holy cow, that was about another hundred. That was more than another hundred thousand dollars. From 261 to 364, that was a hundred and three thousand dollars for just 24,000 liters, I guess, of canola. A small car. You don't want to. There you go. Alright, so that this great demand of canola is really, really benefiting us. Alright, real quick, let's stop by and drop off the eggs, which is just right around this corner. That I'm sure the semi won't fit around. Boom! Gave us another thousand dollars on top of our hundred and one thousand dollar trip. Hundred and three thousand dollar trip. So you can see our bank account starting to pile so high up that we might have to start depositing our money into more than just one bank. Which they don't offer in Farming Simulator 2013, but that's alright. Alright, uh, we have enough to buy yet another combine and some more fields if we wanted to do that. But I think a better investment... Really, dude? But I think a better investment would either be the biogas... Which we already going, which we already are going to start investing in, because we got the corn sower and the corn header for our combine, and so we're already kind of starting that. But we could just invest further in it and 
maybe by the crone big axe because right now our harvester can only harvest corn itself and not anything like better I suppose you could call it so we'll go ahead and park our truck right here mm -hmm. all right let's make sure plant growth is on speedy quickie no it's not there now it's on speedy quickie which I said I was going to check before and I probably should have and I didn't, which I'm so extremely sorry for. And I also sold it at the wrong place, which I really wish I wouldn't have, but look, we fixed all that, so now we're good. Did you get all that? I barely did. Alright, so we are ready to harvest this... These fields of canola, and then fill up our trucks and then just go directly to the source and just sell it all. It's all yours. You want to pay us that much. It is all yours. And we probably should be receiving a great demand for wheat here soon because we haven't sold, we've sold barely any wheat. We have a ton of wheat in our storage and the great demands in Farming Simulator 2013 work in the way that uh, whenever you, if let's say you sell or you just grow corn and you sell a bunch of corn, then the likelihood of a great demand is less likely to happen and prices will go down. I uh, did not. So that's basically just how this works, and because we haven't sold very many crops, we're receiving a bunch of great demands, really, all in just one big, like, spurt, I suppose you you could call it. Um, alright, let's, uh, nope, I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here. Tune in next time to see what exactly we do with this great demand, or what we do with our money, except I won't be doing that next episode, because I will probably be recording that right afterwards. Anyways. Thanks for watching, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and tune in next time.